Yeah, ready, ready y'all, ready, ready y'all, ready y'all, ready, ready, ready. Welcome to the Ups and Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life. And we don't want something about something. <laughs> Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life. And we don't take life too seriously, y'all. And we hear the stories of everyday people. You ready? Still quarantining. Still. And we got... Another month. <laughs> The illest is back. Back, 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 back again. I've gotten this as a question about how do you guys work together and then I figured since everyone is basically working in the same space as their partners we can all kind of relate so we have been working together for about four years now I started working with his company do it all entertainment like helping them and then also doing a wedding doing wedding a wedding doing wedding planning and then I'd work with you directly like as the DJ and planner situation mm -hmm. yeah that, so that was good one thing I was thinking about because you know we, we being real and being honest I feel like sometimes when you work together as a couple you have like very high expectations and so it can be a little hard on each other or i think i'm just hard on you i'm just laid back yeah you're just super laid back and i think sometimes i'd be like like get this right you know chill i got this but, uh, but on the flip side it's like i would never want to work with another not that i wouldn't want to work with another dj but i trusted him the most mm -hmm. so i always knew everything was going to go smooth but i was always like a little bit harder yeah. And that I'm that was like something that I just kind of had to work through and like figure out then I kind of started my own thing and then we like started working closer together More recently with me like helping with the illest stuff But I think the biggest thing for us is we've had separate spaces Right for this whole time. We had, I had an office. Yeah, so I wouldn't be home most of the day I'll just leave in the morning come back in the evening and I just be in my zone at the yeah. office Right, which I think is good. And then there would be days that we wouldn't, you wouldn't go into the office and we would spend more time yeah. together, which was like a nice little balance. But now we are in the same space all the time. So definitely you need to have separate spaces. I think we tried doing it where we were both in the living room kind of working together and I don't think that works. No. So I have an office and then you work from out here in the mm. living room. Even then it's a challenge. I know that yeah. we're like super blessed to even have like a second bedroom to use as an office. But if you're not used to a lot of noise <laughs> and so he he does I'm all music. about that. Right. So when I practice, yeah, I can keep it low, but I need to hear that. That I need to get into the zone. I need right. to get that volume in the right amount. Yeah. So it has to be a little loud for me to get into it. Right. So that might be hard for you to focus on your stuff. Yeah. So it's a little bit challenging for me. Like I'm trying to like focus. I don't work with music. Yeah. I typically work in silence. So it's like a huge difference. There were times when I just take breaks. Yeah. Uh, and let you do you. Right. And, or I just do some. If I have to do something on a laptop, mm -hmm. I'll do that just so I'm not playing. Or I'll put on headphones right. when I use the laptop. It's just mainly for practice sessions and any all my like one minute videos that I drop. Right. I just need to have that sound. Best man, you now rocking with the best man. You now rocking with the best man. You now rocking with the best man. Like yeah. it needs to come out of a speaker. Right. And uh, you may feel bad about having these feelings, but you have to just voice them. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, I'll try really hard. So one thing I do. I wake up earlier than him so I try to get to work earlier so I can get stuff done and then you know I try to push through and just like let it ride until it gets like really hard and then we'll like try to take breaks together because you're together all the time every day is like spend time away from each other and like have your own space yeah you go on walks yeah right? solo walks yeah I go on walks and I was like working out by myself <clears throat> a bunch yeah I just think we have different styles and like you have to kind of just accept that but we also accept that we have different skills mm -hmm. and so like I am really good at like following up and I'm really good at like communication and stuff like that so I handle that and then he's really good at like the artistry and shooting stuff and the creative eye mm -hmm. and so you Getting handle that project, projects done yeah and I like to say, I mean, before I think we kind of were good about not letting it like <clears throat> be the only topic of conversation, like work, but that's hard, mm -hmm. right? Because it, we're 
partners in work or partners in life so it ends up kind of just becoming our life but i think since quarantine we've been kind of better about really only working during like work hours mm -hmm. but still like it still flows to the weekend it still flows yeah. to the evening it's just very abnormal and i think it's okay and you may feel like this is just so out of whack and you feel bad or might be getting into fights or just like things are just off and that's okay that's normal this is just like a really weird time but always be there to support yeah right? there's gonna be down times for your partner and that's where you come in and, yeah. and encourage them and you know let's get it you know let's get, get into it now yeah. let's try again the same way all the way around when you're feeling down yeah. you know that person's gonna be there to, to support you so th that's huge if you have that system right no i think that's important especially during this time like this mm -hmm. is just like a mentally it can be really hard earlier today when we were shooting something i just like looked at sanu and i was like dude you're my hero like he's so solid and he's always been there for me and especially right now this is like a little bit of a tricky time for me and, and i mean for you too but i feel like you're just really strong mm -hmm. and you're just solid and so Straight up, Sun is my hero. Um, That's dope. Yeah. Don't assume that your partner knows all these things. Like you, you have to continue to say these things and remind them. Like, you know, I felt kind of cheesy saying like, "Yo, Sunny, you're my hero," but like straight up, like I just felt it. Like I felt like I needed to like communicate that to him. It's not easy working together, you know, especially when there's other people involved. Like it could get awkward for them, but we try our best to kind of keep those personal conversations at home and separate from other people. But the reality is that sometimes it kind of flows into things that other people are involved with and mm -hmm. that could be tricky for us it's like our number one focus is our family and making sure like we are good like we work together and that's just the reality of it we accept it we accept it we accept that it's not always perfect and i'm not always perfect he's not always perfect like ready to go to work and like th like in the beginning of this whole thing like he had some stuff going on like not feeling well and Injuries. whatnot and you know especially since we were spending so much time together having these like expectations of each other but really that's like a personal thing yeah go at your own pace yeah you know, don't rush it or think you know i need to get this done don't yeah. rush <laughs> that's that challenge don't rush slow touch <laughs> i mean work it work together uh um, work it out come on <laughs> this is <a> off. <laughs> It's weird not knowing when this is going to end, but go into it just appreciating the time is what I'm trying yeah. to do. Appreciate the time you get to spend together. You get to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner together, or maybe not. Maybe you yeah. guys eat meals some... Well, in the beginning, we were definitely eating some meals, all meals together, but now we've been kind of doing a couple meals separately. Just, you know, figuring out a rhythm, figuring out what works for y'all. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. It takes time. We haven't figured it out. We're all trying to figure this shit out. Yeah, hopefully every Everything, you know becomes normal again and we'll be uh back to our, our routine our yeah. daily life until right. then quarantining together there it is working together there it is it is what it is there it is <laughs> you like working with me she cool <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching um i appreciate you guys staying Staying engaged, staying active out here, watching the videos, sharing the videos, and yeah, thank we'll you. We'll be there, and we'll be there to put out videos for you guys. Yeah, you know, for entertainment. Yeah, you know, or just to feel good. Right. Feel good music. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'll, I'll continue to put it out there. You do the same thing and mm -hmm. go from there. We're doing our best to entertain y'all, give y'all something to good watch. Vibes. Yeah, make your heart feel good. Not think about everything that's happening. Bye, guys. Thank you. Goodbye.